Tax planning mistake number seven. The failure to properly use the proper tax entity to maximize your income tax savings. The biggest mistake is the failure to maximize your Social Security and Medicare taxes uh, by using um, so S Corporation properly. So, you know, the point is, is that if you are an S Corporation, you have to pay a reasonable salary. But if you have profits in excess of a reasonable salary, you can pay a dividend on those profits and you pay no Social Security taxes. It's a no-brainer. And so the, the question I have with businesses that whether they should elect us or not, once the business owner is making more than a reasonable salary, they should consider being an S corporation. Okay? So that's one of the biggest things that a business owner can do. Now let's do some plain. Let's talk about this. The, a, a business owner makes $120,000. The Social Security taxes are 15% on that income if you're a sole proprietorship or if you're a partner in a partnership. Your, your, your self-employment earnings are at 15% of 120000 Do the math. $18,000. Now, what if your reasonable salary is only 60000 instead of one hundred twenty? dollars How much do you save? Per person, per business owner that's making that kind of income. We also do Social Security planning with couples and understanding the Social Security laws. Because I've had some clients that one spouse is paying 60 and the other spouse is paying 60. So they're each earning Social Security of 60000 Now, if you know when you retire and you've been married for more than 10 years, if you change it to have one person be paid 120 to maximize their Social Security benefit, double it, the other spouse doesn't, when they retire, this spouse gets the Social Security on 120000 and the other spouse gets 50% of their benefit. If one of them, if that spouse, upon the death of that spouse, the surviving spouse gets that benefit. Okay? So I'm saying there's some planning involved when we look at business owners trying to do Social Security planning, trying to identify how much are you paying each spouse for their Social Security taxes. It's an important issue to look at, the choice of entity. I have a separate outline that goes into a lot of detail, um, and there's five pages that, that talks about the, ta the, the tax plan issues, whether you're on page three as a sole proprietorship, a partnership, page four is a C corporation or an S corporation, and page five is an example. And, and I want to share this with you. A lot of businesses should not be a C corporation. And this, this is the example on page five there that shows if you're a C corporation and you sell the business, you're going to pay double tax on the, on, the, on the gain on the sale of the assets, the business assets. And if you're a C corporation, you don't get the, the lower tax bracket, 15%, 20% on the capital gain. All capital gains in a C corporation are taxed at the maximum corporate rate of 35%. So if you are a C corporation, you need to do some tax planning with your, your CPA to try to see if you should be electing S corporation. A lot of times you elect S corporation at least, right now it's five years before you sell the company because then if you are a C corporation and you elect S corporation and you're an S corporation for five years, you avoid the double tax and all the capital gains are taxed at lower rates. So if you are a C corporation, there's some planning involved with you as far as your choice of entity, whether you should or should not be a C corporation. 